Hey friends, Tessa Bice here with my latest layout for Bella Boulevard. This is for Mother's Day week and it's using the new collection Home Sweet Home. The collection has so many cute papers in it, I couldn't decide which ones to use for my layout, so I chose a whole bunch and decided to make these origami tulips to decorate the background of my page. So I wanted to show you how to make these tulips and give you a couple tips for working with patterned paper as opposed to origami paper. You wanna start with a square, and on this particular layout, these pink flowers are three and a half inches square, the blues are four, the reds are four and a half, the yellows are five, and the florals are six. So you can, um, if you use a variety of sizes, I think it adds more visual interest to the page. So this again is a four inch square, and you're gonna to wanna to begin by going corner to corner, and then corner to corner on the opposite corners. And because this is cardstock, it doesn't fold as easily as origami paper. So I highly suggest you get a bone folder or I can't find mine. So I'm using this old school making memories distressing tool, but I'm using this because it's hard and it's smooth. So anything that's going to be hard and smooth is going to make uh, creasing your lines a lot easier. If there's any kind of roughness to it, it's probably gonna end up distressing your paper. So if that's a look that you like, awesome. If not, then you're going to want to find something a little bit smoother. So once you have a triangle, then what you're going to do is make the petals. Let's see, I'm gonna do it from, nope, 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 from this triangle, there we go. Okay, so I like to put my finger right there at the crease uh, because it helps me to then pull this up and make sure that it comes to a point down here. So you pull up the corner and then of course crease that and you've got one side of your tulip. You do the same thing on the other side, trying to be as even identical as possible. So there's the, you can basically see the tulip shape, but to make it seem more vertical, what you do is flip it over and then pull in the corners. And this is a hard one to crease, definitely need the bone folder for that but you make these little wings and then as you flip them over, you have a much more vertical tulip right there. So if you want to see the original tutorial that I found that taught me how to do these, I link to it in my Bella Boulevard blog post. <laughs> Say that 10 times fast. And it also includes how to do a stem and the origami stem makes the flower freestanding. So if you wanted to learn how to make these and make a layout like this and maybe you had some extras, then you could make some freestanding flowers as well. So that again is in the Bella Boulevard blog post that I wrote all about this page and the link to that is going to be in the comments below. So happy Mother's Day. If you don't already have the Home Sweet Home collection, I highly suggest you go get it. It is awesome and happy creating.